Welcome back everybody and today we're going to be talking more about Photoshop and some more important tools that we need to learn in order to make cool new projects. So I'm going to share my screen and we're going to go to Photoshop. Now in Google Classrooms along with this tutorial there were two photos you should have downloaded and we are going to use them today so it's very important that you have those photos downloaded. If you don't, go download them now, pause the tutorial, and come back. We're gonna go to open, and today we are going to use the two new pictures that we downloaded. So you're gonna, down, you're gonna click the lightning, and you're gonna open it. Now, this becomes our automatic background instead of the white background from the first tutorial. Now, along with this, we want to include the RAM head from our Ryerson RAM picture. So I'm gonna go back to my documents and I'm gonna select the Ryerson RAM image and hold and drag it into Photoshop. Once I see this small plus, I'm going to let go. And now my Ryerson RAM image is in Photoshop. It has these small toggles on the left, right, and all around it, and that is to scale your image up and down. If you hold the corner like this, it will proportionately scale it. And if you hold down the shift key, you can disproportionately scale it, which I don't recommend. So we are going to hit OK. by clicking the check mark. And now I have two images. I can move the Ryerson one, but my background is locked. What if I want to move my background? I'm just going to hide this image. If I want to move my background and unlock it, I'm going to right click and I'm going to convert it to a smart object. Now it's a new layer. I'm gonna call it blue lightning and now I have my two layers so today's task is we are going to try and take this ram head and cut it out from the rest of this white image so to do so we are going to have to use this tool the lasso tool if you right click on this button it gives you three options for today's exercise, we're gonna use the magnetic lasso tool. So make sure you have that selected. Now, I'm kind of far away and zoomed out from my image, but I wanna be closer so I can be more accurate. So to zoom in, I'm gonna hold down Alt on my keyboard and with my mouse, scroll in. And now I'm very close and I can be super accurate with the outline. Or if you're more comfortable, you can use this small magnifying glass and do the same thing. You hold it down and then you move your mouse in and out to zoom in. I prefer using my mouse and alt and scrolling. Um, it just becomes faster. And if you can do that, that's very good. So. I can scroll up and down, but how do I go left and right? Well, if you're using a mouse and a keyboard, hold down the control button and then with your mouse, scroll and it will move it left and right. This can get a little confusing if you're not used to it. So feel free to use the small scrolling bars on the side and the bottom. So let's cut out this ram head. With the magnetic lasso tool, Two important features are the space bar and double clicking. So to begin, I'm gonna click once. And now you can see the magnetic lasso is helping me by snapping it to the outside of this image. But what if I accidentally mess up and I go in here? Well, there's no need to worry. All you're gonna do is double click. Now that I've double clicked, I've closed off this small cutout. 
but that's not the entire RAM. I want to do more. So on your keyboard, hold down shift. Now you can see there's a small plus there. If I hold down shift and I click again, I can start a new lasso. And now I'm going to slowly follow my RAM head. Now, if I hold down the space bar, my, a small hand icon comes up. And this allows me to drag the screen left and right so I can readjust myself when drawing the lasso. This can be pretty tricky at first, so don't worry if it takes you a long time. Now, let's say I go too far out like this. And now too much of my RAM is selected. Well, you can, just as we hit shift to add, you can minus and take away certain areas that you've lassoed off. So if I hold down the Alt button, just like we did to zoom in and out, I can now select a new shape like this corner that I don't want. And I'm going to go to the outside. It doesn't matter how big or far because this will subtract it from our selection. So I'm going to go here. When I see the small circle, it means it's completed. And I'm going to click it. And look, now that part has disappeared from our selection. So you can zoom in and out, and you can make it more accurate to the RAM head like this. So I'm subtracting this area again. And once you have a good selection, you're going to go up here and you're going to go to your select tool just to make sure you don't mess anything up. And now you're going to learn about masking, which is this small button at the bottom with the small hole in it. And what masking does is it allows us to temporarily erase things from an image, but not completely get rid of them. So what we're going to do is we're going to, with our selected RAM head, we're going to click this button. And as you can see, the entire background from the original image has disappeared. And we can now move the RAM head around just as we please. If you look at your layers back over here on the right, you'll see a new box has appeared beside the image. This is the mask. You can see that there's a small white part and then the rest is black. The black part is the part that has been temporarily erased, so we can't see it. And the white part is the part that's still visible, our RAM head. For example, if I went to my brush and I have the black color selected, I can go over my RAM head and I can erase it temporarily. Now, don't worry if you've just erased it. We can easily undo this problem. So you can go up to Edit and click Undo Brush Tool. Or to take a shortcut, click Control and at the same time press Z. So let's just undo that small error we made. And now that we've masked our image, we're going to make it a little bit bigger so it, it looks nice and centered. So to increase the size of an image, you're going to click Control T. And now here, here's this box we had at the very beginning, if you remember. So now I'm going to drag it up and I'm going to increase it so it's nice and big. And now once I'm happy with the size, I come up here and I can click the check mark and now I have my new image with my RAM head and the cool blue lightning in the background. And once again, if you want to play around with the opacity, you can. And now that looks pretty cool because the lightning is almost going through the RAM. And once you're happy, you can play around more if you choose, but once you're happy, remember to go up here and save your work. And remember again, Save it as a Photoshop file. And we're going to call this RAM with 
lightning. And we're gonna click enter and we're gonna save. And if this keeps showing up, that's all right. You can click do not show again, click okay. And there we have it. Your, this can be your new desktop screensaver or you can show your mom and dad or make it your phone background. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial on the lasso tool, zooming in and out and masking. And we'll be here to answer any questions and feel free to go back and watch any of the tutorials again. And I hope you guys enjoyed it.